Let's see how these rock beasts do. We are open discs right now. We're probably going to have to lock them almost immediately. This is a nice little climb here. Yeah, we're gonna have to lock these puppies. Oh, I'm in high gear. Don't crawl in high gear. It's not a good idea. All right, low gear. Lock diffs. We'll have to try from the other other side. It looks like it might be a better view from the other side. Let me get you set up. Alright, let's try this again from this view and see what happens. Rock beasts do very well. I am not complaining about them one bit. They are beasts on the rock. I will admit. And this Savox servo, oh my goodness. A friend of mine has a Savox on his and it is not the 1283, I think that's what this is. And uh, I drove his for a little bit and a big difference. Very big difference. All right, we got some challenge here. Let's see if we can do anything with this. Doesn't look like it. My uh, my braking is working excellent. Yeah, that's Savox servo. <clears throat> You'll bend the tires before they won't turn. You'll crinkle the tires up. Try a different approach angle. Try it again. I have to get my son off the bus here very soon. I didn't work today because it was raining in the morning. So it's kind of nice to have a day off. You know, sometimes they're too close together. But we'll make it. No big deal. I think we'll not get up on that rock peak. Now we're high centered on the rock that I just tried to adjust. And I got a mosquito. I got him though, don't you worry. That's one less mosquito we have in the world today. Do not worry. I used to do pest control. I was an exterminator at one point. Believe it or not. All right, let me get a different view. Let me unbind the steering first, and then we'll get a different view. All right, different view, different angle, different approach. Let me try to move this here so you can see what's going on. Try to get it coming up this side of the rock over here. Boy. Guess it's almost time to get that GoPro. It's going to tip. It's going to tip. All right, on its wheels.
might have to give it a little throttle to get up here. We're trying to get through this gap and it's high center and up here on this rock up here. So let's see what we have to do here. Let me adjust the camera. Okay, so I might have to get some throttle to get up over here. In fact, I think I'm gonna have to. Oh, that's a little bit of a situation we're in now. Hmm. Is it time to pull out the winch? Let's see. Oh, yeah. Lowering down. Alright, let me get this thing hooked up and we'll go. Alright, this might get it. Let's try it. Oh yeah, winch action. You saw it here, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> winch action. All right, All right. Let me get this coming down on the descent. How about one more going up, and then I guess I'll go get my son off the bus. And I was thinking about changing out to the incision wheels with the. BF Goodrich tires, the crawler TAs. Let's see, just, you know, just to reminisce a little bit. Hold on, let's do some close ups. I like watching the tires bubble or bend to the. Watch that tire bend around the corner of the rock. Ooh, the throttle control's a little off here. I'm getting crawl mode here. Comes the back tire. Oh, nice and beautiful. Server's talking. Are you listening? Wow, it was very hard, but we made it. Well, now my axle's getting hung up on the rear. There it is. Alright, I need to go get my son off to try to get this video finished off. I started it like two days ago, and I just got busy. I didn't have time to get it finished. I did switch out. I put the um, I put the uh, incision wheels, the method, with the uh, these are the BF Goodrich crawler TAs on here. So I like these too. We'll see if they do any better than Rock Beasts. They seem to do a smidge better than Rock Beasts. Just a smidge. Seem to do it just a little better. Definitely. I don't know. Rock
Rock beasts do good, but man, these, I don't know. Everybody knows I love my Hyraxes when I had them. And they went on the uh, giveaway truck and I haven't bought any more, so. Uh, no reason, I just, you know, I wanted to try those rock beasts out. I figured since I already had the high racks, I might as well try the rock beasts. Everybody remember that I do have 17 and a half weight shock oil in my shocks. So, it does, it does pretty good with that in there. Sorry, I was almost to tip over. Not make it up this with the uh, rock beast, so we'll see how the crawler TAs do. Crawler T K A T A. What is it? TAs. So it is. Let's see if it'll make it up here. I don't expect it to, but uh, yeah, you never know. Like I said, I did make it up here one time. This might not be the one time. I don't know, it's a pretty good climb right there. It's done pretty good. Down it goes. We're getting close to that thousand subscribers. I think I mentioned that on the other video clips that I did. So the, I'm not sure what I'm going to do for a giveaway for the thousand yet. But I can guarantee you it's going to be a good one. It's going to be a good one. Hopefully after I get to a thousand we can get the wife out here running some RCs. I know my son, Andrew, had talked about, you know, wanting to get back on some video. He's He did a drawing for one of the giveaways. So, I just bought him a T-Max. Uh, it's kind of an early birthday present. And uh, he likes it. It's the brushed T-Max, or uh, E-Max, sorry. It's the brushed E-Max. And uh, he's run it a couple times, but um, I'm thinking for Christmas we'll get him the brushless upgrade. And uh, see how he likes the that. servo noise. I am going to possibly today uh, go get some more of this concrete. My neighbor has a big pile and uh, I'd asked him if I could use some of it. So I'm going to go get some of that and I'm going to try to make some more crawler but I think I'm going to move my course. This is right here in my front yard. So uh, I don't, you know, I just don't want to have a big course here in my front yard. I have a chunk of woods down here that, hold on, bear with me, it'd be nice to clear up some of it, and uh, that way we, I can do all my crawling down there. It is down, see this is my neighbor's yard over here, don't focus on my finger, and all this wood's down here. I can clear out some spots down there, we can do some crawling and not have it over here where we do the fire pits. Or the fires in the fire pit, I should say. So, it'd be nice to not destroy my front yard with crawling stuff. So, and this pile is so small. Like I said, I wanna, I wanna get more and add more to it. So, let's crawl these rocks. Not work 
skin. All right. You see that big spider run away? He ran. He knew it was good for him. All right. Let me change the camera. All right. I like these views. Makes it look all powerful coming down. Has anybody been watching JCRC's videos? He's doing an amphibious vehicle. It's pretty cool. He put some uh, foam and all that stuff up in the chassis. And he's got this, uh, I think it's a WL Toys 10428 model. I think that's it. I believe so, Jim. <laughs> if I remember correctly from your videos, I think it's a 10... 104... 10, 28, 10, 104, 28 or something like that. I don't know. If you're interested, go check out his channel. <laughs> um, let me see here. Let me push pause. I'll get you adjusted. All right. Let's see how we can do here. Let me pause. We'll do a couple more shots and I'm going to wrap up. Stuck like Chuck. Come on, we all know who Chuck is. He's always stuck. All right. Teetering. I'm just messing around now. No real rhyme or reason why. All right, let's go back over to Rock Pile. All right, let's try this. I'm already getting bit up by the mosquitoes. Nice tire flex on that back tire. Let me stop there. Let me adjust this thing. Oh, mosquitoes are killing me. BF Goodrich, they do good too. I think they do a little better than a Rock Beast, so if I had to call it out, I'm saying Hyrax, BF Goodrich, Rock Beast. So far. I haven't tried, you know, all of them out, of course. here is smooth so I lose traction on it very fairly quickly all right change the terrain Let's see if we can't get around it I don't think so I think we're stuck well, this might do it let's see traction on again. Oh, 
Is it gonna do it? Oh yeah. Well, I don't know. We're so close. over if we're not careful. Later tater. Trying to uh, <clears throat> have some other places that I found that I'm going to try to crawl at. Some uh, pretty cool places. I might get arrested. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Don't go anywhere you're not supposed to be. It's not worth it. I'm also considering just setting up a crawling place here at my own house and invite some people over because there's just nothing local to me there's one about 40 minutes from me and for anybody that's like down in dc area and all that it's even further for them so if i set something up here it's definitely something that i can consider doing so all right that's our last crawl I will say that I saw somebody, you know, I'm on a bunch of Facebook uh, groups and all that stuff with TRX4, and somebody was saying about shifting these micro servos, you know, and keep it moving while you're shifting them. And I, you know, I totally agree in the beginning, but um, the problem there is I've just had it out back whenever I was bringing it over here to the rock um, place, and I shifted it into high gear when I was just barely moving, and it didn't shift. So uh, I personally have better luck when I'm at a standstill and shift. So, all right, uh, it's getting, I'm getting bit by mosquitoes. So, and I have stuff that I need to do for the, the uh, day. So thanks for watching. Thanks for su supporting me. We're so close, so close to a thousand subscribers. Let's go ahead and get that. And uh, we'll do some good giveaways. <clears throat> thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. Ben.